Hi, welcome back to my suburban garden. So today we're gonna to talk about beans. What's the difference between pole beans and bush beans? So I read that they taste the same, so I didn't feel like building a trellis, so I just planted bush beans. The difference is, apparently, with pole beans, you can pick and come again. They produce for about two months. And bush beans only produce once uh, at full, full maturity. Now, I thought mine kept producing last year because I went a couple times and cut. I may have not waited till they were all out. And um, I surprisingly didn't get a whole lot of beans out of them. Um, so I have bush beans planted, but I have a lot more planted. And I'm gonna plant some more today. I'm gonna fill in the holes because they can be planted really close together. So it's kind of like succession planting. I, I can uh, harvest and then when the next one's produced, I'll come back and harvest. And you can plant beans till August, so I'll just keep planting them as they as they give. But I'm gonna go ahead and plant these pole beans today. So I have this old piece of shelf I using as trellis. So I'm gonna plant it on either side. It may not be high enough. I have a plan for if that happens. Um, what I'm gonna deal, do to deal with it, but um, yeah, I mean, so I'm gonna plant pole beans today, as well as my bush beans I've already planted. That bed over there, and I'm gonna show you in a minute, I'm gonna plant pinto beans. But I'm gonna ask you to subscribe, like this video, comment on it. Uh, so I soaked these beans overnight, and I'm gonna plant them like three inches apart. It should be plenty far enough. Apart. So why did I soak them overnight? It, it they'll germinate even if you don't soak them overnight, but it gives them a little extra. Um, Gives them a little jump on germination. So I soak them and um, and that's it. I'm planting them three inches apart. And it should be fine. Now I'm gonna take you over to the other bed. Oh, I also soaked these beans overnight. Um, can, these are store-bought beans, bag beans that I bought and soaked, and they'll grow fine from what I read. Um, uh, store-bought beans are always bush beans, so I'm going to fill this whole bed with pintos, and hopefully I get enough to, um, to do something with, um, but yeah, that's all there is to it. So, my brassicas are not doing well at all. So, I'm thinking my brassicas, I'm going to, um, I'm going to just, I'm going to turn that into a bean bed, I think. I don't think I'm going to get any brassicas out of it, so. But, that's all there is to it. Pinto beans, I'm going to, in the other bed, I'm gonna fill in the gaps. Come on, I'll show you. So as you can see, I have gaps in this bed. So I'm gonna fill in the gaps with the beans, with these beans. So I'm gonna do that and I'll have beans. I'm so excited. I'm so glad you came. 
it means the world to me. So this has been my suburban garden. I've been Sheila and I will see you in the next one.